I'm sorry, I don't even know if I'm making sense. I've had like four cups of coffee today and I'm super hyped. So if this doesn't make sense, I'm sorry, now you know why. Um, here in Toronto, it's pretty gray, pretty gloomy. Um, I was just putting a few things away in my room, actually. I went to Aritzia last week and picked up a few um, items. And then as I was about to pack them, I realized over the course of like the last month or two, um, I've done quite a few <laughs> small shopping trips. So these small shopping trips have accumulated into what is actually quite a bit of stuff and so i thought why not do a quick little aritzia um, kind of like a winter essentials haul for you guys today so first things first i picked up um so as you guys know actually i was moving recently and while i was kind of while my stuff was kind of still in transit um there was one day where it was super super cold and i didn't have like a hat or gloves or anything and i was walking down blur street and i remember freezing so i just ran into aritzia and picked up a hat and gloves because I was like, well, you know what? Like you can never really have too many hats or gloves. So I picked up this hat. I really like it because the knit is pretty tight. So if I try it on, you guys will understand that it like keeps its shape and I like that it like stands up. It doesn't flop over or anything. So I like that. It's kind of like a acne vibe without the price tag, you know what I'm saying? So I like this, um, it's really warm, it wears well, like it hasn't started pilling or anything like that, so I'm happy with the hat. The gloves on the other hand, I must say, I do buy a pair of like the Aritzia mitts every winter, cause of course I lose them, but anyways, um, I got these ones and I like that they turn from like a full glove and then you can take your fingers out if you need, so there is a magnet in here that's supposed to like, I guess, hold this from flopping around, which obviously doesn't work. So that's not the best thing, but I mean, whatever, they're warm and I have access to my fingers if I need to like use my phone or anything. So they're warm, they do the trick, they have started balling or like pilling, so the quality isn't as good as the hat, but I mean, whatever, they'll last for the season and I'm wearing like, I'm wearing them every day, so they're getting their money's worth. And on to the next. Um, in my August favorites, I think it was, I included these boyfriend sweatpants that actually a lot of you DM'd about. They are in the color dry basil. Um, I went from owning no sweatpants to owning a full sweatsuit. So I picked up the boyfriend hoodie in the same color it is super oversized i am obsessed with this sweatsuit i'm gonna try it on and show you guys like as a full look okay you guys the sweatsuit is such a vibe i mean i've been living in it on the weekends as a full sweatsuit in my docks in my hat i just showed you guys run around town doing whatever i need to do it's just so comfortable so warm I mean, I love the oversized fit. It's just, it's like, I don't know what I was doing before, truthfully. And then, as I mentioned, I'm all about versatility. So if I wanna wear this, like with a pair of jeans, if I'm just like hanging out with a friend, you know, going for coffee, something like that, I can still wear it and like look a little bit more put together. So wear it as a full suit or wear the sweater on its own. I'm very much into this set. Okay, next up we have a blazer. So actually, a little bit of backstory on this. I have been waiting quite some time to find the perfect check blazer. So I have a black blazer in my wardrobe from Vince that I've had for years now. Like I've gotten so much wear out of it. It's classic. I can literally wear it over anything. Casual, dressed up, love it. Then I have like a gray kind of like more wool, vintage-y vibe blazer. Love that. And then I was like, I really need a check blazer. Like that's the only thing I feel like I'm missing. So I was on the hunt for quite some time, but I found it was hard to find a check that was like the right size. 
And then I came across the Samuel Blazer. So it is by Babaton. It's oversized and it's check. It's black, white, and like a brown, neutral-ish kind of tone, like a camel tone. Um, I really like it. It's double-breasted. And let me get up and show you guys. Okay, you guys, so this is how the blazer looks. It is an oversized fit, so I took a size two, but as you can see, it is quite big. Um, I really like the oversized, oversized fit because if I want to wear like a hoodie underneath, I can. So sometimes I'll wear it with like black wax denim and a hoodie and my docks and just throw this on. And I feel like it just kind of like polishes up like a more street look. Or um, you've probably seen it on my Instagram as a bunch as well, styled a bunch of different ways, but you can wear it over like a slip dress or um, I wore it with a midi skirt and a turtleneck for more of like an elevated work bossy type vibe so yeah you can like dress it up dress it down i really like that um i know it's probably hard to see but i'll get in a little bit closer there so you can kind of see the check pattern so it's black white and camel but yeah i just feel like this is a great great versatile piece Next item is from the most recent purchase, so I haven't worn it yet. It is this white long sleeve TNA logo shirt. So it's white and then it says TNA 1997 on the front in this like bright orange and then it also has it all down the back. I don't know what it was about this. I was just really, really drawn to it in the store and it kind of is cropped and it has like a unfinished hem. So, but I got it in a, like, I think this is medium and normally in tops I wear like extra, extra small. So this is quite oversized for me, but I wanted something that wasn't a sweater, but wasn't just like a long sleeve top like this. Like I wanted something casual that wasn't a hoodie, if that makes sense. So I felt like this was like the perfect um, in between. I like it. I don't know why I was just so drawn to it, but let me, um try it on and show you guys what it looks like. You guys tell me how you really feel about this. I mean, now that it's on, I feel like I definitely could have got a smaller size, but that's okay. I'm into this oversized look. It's definitely comfortable. It definitely needs a good steaming. I'm trying to turn around and show you guys like what the back looks like, which is actually impossible. So I'm sorry, but this is how it looks. I mean, it's just a plain white tee. It's oversized, it's comfortable. I don't know, I think it's cute. What do you think? Last but not least, we have the second item for my most recent purchase, which is these Denim Forum Yoko high rise jeans. They are kind of like a washed out faded black and they have the exposed buttons. I love these, love, love, love. I mean, I haven't worn them yet, <laughs> disclaimer, but from when I tried them on, I do really like them. Um, I knew from the end of summer that I wanted something with like the exposed button fly. So I was really happy when I saw these in the store, but they're high rise, they're slim. And then they have like the frayed hem at the bottom, which I don't know how I feel about. Like I keep buying all these jeans with frayed hems and then I'm like, am I gonna want these like down the line? But I don't know, I like them for right now. And I think I'll get a lot of wear out of these. I will try them on for you guys so you can see how they look. I really like them. They are still snug because I haven't worn them yet. So usually when I buy jeans, I like to go with the smallest size that I can fit into because when you wear them a few times, they kind of stretch out or loosen up. So I went um, pretty tight, but I know they will stretch out a bit. I really like the button detailing down the front and I think the length is a good length. I like the crop. They are a cute bum. Overall a great jean. I'm excited to see like how these wear. And that actually concludes our little mini Aritzia haul. So as always, let me know what you guys thought, what pieces you liked, what pieces you didn't like, and I'll see you soon. Bye.